We begin worship now with this, our call to worship, from the living faith, our hope in God. Life in the age to come is pictured in the Bible in different ways. An eternal kingdom, a new heaven and earth, a marriage feast, an unending day, the Father's house, and the joy of God's presence. God will triumph over all opposition and everything that disrupts creation. Let us pray. Lord, you call us from a life of trouble, a life of celebration. You call us from lives of work and times of rest to gather in this space, this moment, this place, wherever we are, and to recognize that we stand on holy ground as we come before our Lord and Maker. O oh Lord, we are in awe of all that you have made. How wonderfully, how amazingly you have woven us together. And yet, Lord, even more than this, the creation that surrounds us, in which we dwell, that we are called to care for. Lord, in awe and wonder, we come to bring you praise in the midst of this creation. And to lead creation in its praise of its Lord and Maker. Lord, forgive us for the times that we have taken what we are, how aware we are, the great gifts that you have blessed our lives with, and Lord, even when we take the challenges we face that help us grow, when we take all this for granted, Lord, and sin against you, we do seek our own will and turn our back on your way that is Christ. We ask your forgiveness, Lord. Open our hearts, soften them, that we might feel the, the outpouring of grace that has come down to us from Christ, from that cross, from his sacrifice unto our lives, that we might be made whole. And in that wholeness, we may be even your children. And on this day, as your children, we ask that you will bless us, that you will bless us to worship you and to offer praise and glory this day and always. And so, Lord, as we together pray, we pray in the fellowship of the whole church, that gathers for worship on this day, on any day, and the many souls that have gathered around these words that Christ taught us as we together pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. 